hello guys welcome back to a new part of and call java tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about abstract classes in java and abstract class is same like classes and it has some more additional features than a normal java class an abstract class cannot be instantiated an abstract class contain concrete as well as abstract methods so in this part i will explain how to use abstract classes in java with a complete working example so for demonstrating the use of abstract classes in java here i just create a new class called abstract demo that contain the main method so here i'm going to create another class here class uh, second class i just create a new class called the second class and that here i'm going to create another method in that class called public void concrete method okay I just create a method called the concrete method and here I'm going to print a message Uh, display from concrete method okay uh, now I'm going to create an object of the second class here the second class is second class here I'm going to create an object of that class second class second is equal to new second class okay just create an object of that second class now we just call that method available on that class called the uh, uh, concrete method second dot uh, concrete method just invoke that method now just run the program okay display from concrete method we got the output correctly now on the second class here I'm going to <coughs> add a special method called an abstract method an abstract method which does not have a body so here I'm going to add an abstract method abstract abstract void first first abstract just create a new method called uh, abstract void first abstract and end it with a semicolon this is called an abstract method so here there is no body for this method that's why I just end this method with a semicolon that, that means it's an abstract method okay so here you got an error just check out that error second class is not abstract and does not override abstract method first abstract okay here is the first two rule of abstract class if a class contain at least one abstract method that class must be an abstract class so here second class is a normal class and that contain here I just create an abstract method on the on that class that means now uh, we have to convert this class into abstract because it contain one abstract method so here I am going to convert that class into abstract okay now we uh, we solve the problem so now this class become abstract and uh, that class contain that uh, contain one abstract method that's why this class is abstract okay now we got another problem here second class is abstract and cannot be instantiated here comes the second rule of abstract class an abstract class cannot be instantiated that means it is not possible to create an object of abstract class here the second class is an abstract one so here we just create an object of the abstract class or the main method it is not possible okay so this statement is illegal uh, now I am going to create a class that extends this abstract class so here I'm going to create a new class class abstract 
abstract child just create a new class called uh, abstract child and that extends that abstract class called second class okay now I am going to override that abstract method public void first abstract just overlay that ab first uh, abstract method called the first abstract and print out a message uh, display from first abstract method okay so now here on this class uh, here abstract child extends that second class second class means it's an abstract class and that abstract method is over right here now I'm going to create an object of that abstract child class abstract child child is equal to new abstract child okay now just invoke the concrete method and now I'm going to invoke the abstract method also child dot first abstract method okay now save it now going to run the program run this program okay we got the output display from concrete method also display from first abstract method okay now we got two rules first one is if a class contain at least one abstract method that class must be an abstract class and second rule is an abstract class cannot be instantiated that means it is not possible to create an object for abstract class okay there is one more rule suppose here I'm going to add another abstract method abstract void second abstract okay I just add another abstract method on this class called the second class is an abstract class now you can see that that class is actually extended by the abstract child and there is an error abstract child is not abstract and does not override abstract method second abstract that means if a class extends an abstract class all the abstract methods on that abstract class are overrided on the child class that means uh, if a class is is a child of an abstract class then all the abstract methods on that abstract all the abstract methods on that abstract class must be overrided on the child class on the child class okay so now here we need to add we need to override that abstract method also public void second second abstract and note a message display from second abstract method okay now I'm going to run the program run the file display from first abstract method Oh, now we have to call that method also child dot second abstract okay save it now just run the program now we got the output guys this is how we using abstract classes in Java please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial